Hi guys, so I want to do a quick review and an unboxing of the new Call of Duty Mega Constructs weapons crate. So on the left we have the World War II themed weapons crate and then on the right we have the close quarters weapons crate. Uh, the first thing we'll take a look at is the, the packaging for the figures and the display art on the package. Uh, so first up is the World War II weapons crate. It's got the nice, um, the the display packaging for it of that window packaging so we can see what's you know included in the package. We have the three firearms right here. So we have the Sten, we have the um, Springfield 1903-esque type sniper rifle, and then we have a nice revolver. Uh, additionally included is the Sten magazine, a uh, grenade, we have the new muzzle attachment piece to simulate firing, and then we have the World War II themed weapons crate uh, provided also as well with a nice infantry logo from right on the uh, the front of it, if you guys can see, if you guys play Call of Duty World War II, it's gonna stand out as one of the, the main divisions for the game. On the back, we have everything that's included. You know, this is pretty uh, typical standard packaging and display art that we've seen on some of the other packages. Uh, so on the left, we have all the accessories included. It's got our firearms, it's got the scarf, the load-bearing equipment, figure stand. On the right, we have how the weapons crate uh, is displayed in a um, kind of alternative build, so you can see the firearms in an upright position. Um, so that's pretty neat. On the right, we have the close quarters weapons crate. So we have three weapons again, nothing, uh, I guess they're pretty similar in that sense. So we have on the first, on the left, we have that, uh, the Call of Duty, it's that modular system for the firearms where they all clip in uh, together. In the middle we have a, that Benelli M4 uh, shotgun that was, I think, initially packaged with uh, Series 2 of the Heroes with uh, Soap McTavish. Then on the right we have the Vector submachine gun. We have additionally included with that is uh, another muzzle attachment to simulate firing. The figure itself, uh, the face mold came I think from the Urban Assault, um, you know, the gas mask uh, set. Uh, similar to like the SAS figures, uh, the only difference is he doesn't have a helmet, he's got a green beanie. His uniform is all of driving color with uh, dark brown boots, dark brown load bearing equipment, and a dark brown uh, equipment belt. On the back again, nothing new. It's, um, you know, all our accessories on the left. We have the figure, and then we have the, the modern version of the care package with a uh, alternative build. So instead of having it all enclosed, so you can't see, you know, the firearms, you can have it displayed like this with the figure. Um, so take a look at the World War II one on the left. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the, uh, the weapons crate itself, how they uh, have, you know, like instructions for doing the alternative build. Uh, so it's, you know, brown in color. We've seen the, you know, this weapons crate in a few different uh, World War II themed sets before. Um, you know, I have it displayed with the, the 1903 as well as the revolver. If you guys can tell, it's got it like all the uh, the firearms in the World War II version uh, of the weapons crate have a nice woodland camo paint job on the firearms. So on the 1903, you have it on the forearm rest as well as the lower receiver and the buttstock. On the revolver, you have it on all of the the upper receiver portion of the firearm. It's on both sides, so which is really nice. So they did a really good job on the paint scheme for that. They use just the typical um, you know those L type shaped um rods to have everything you know put together and displayed uh with the figure we have if you guys played call of duty world war ii this is going to stand out to you so the uh, this is um packaged as the world war ii weapons crate but if you guys play the game like i said uh this figure scheme like the the uniform scheme is actually uh came from one of the uh pre-orders for the games of like a division uniform so this is off of this is based off of the infantry division. So you have the um, upper portion of the, the shirt and the lower portion of the shirt are uh, red in color. Everything else is black. He's got brown boots. He's got a yellow scarf um, provided as well. And then he's got a nice uh, yellow line across his helmet on um, the entire helmet as well. So I have him uh, holding the Sten machine gun along with that, um, the new muzzle attachment for the um, the firearms. So what's neat about this is, you know, it adds to that extra level of realism. If you guys are playing with these or if you're displaying them, uh, now you have a way to, you know, have your figures displayed, you know, simulating firing their firearms towards, you know, other figures or what, what have you, right? Uh, the one gripe I guess that I have about this is that 
the translucency for it. So this is similar to the, uh, if you guys got the, uh, what is it, the Flame Trooper pack um, that had the additional uh, plastic piece for the flame, when they had it, you know, like the, I guess the, um, the concept art for it, it looked really good. They had a, a few different layers of plastics in there to kind of simulate the flame. Uh, and then the, you know, the product that actually came out was a little bit different. Similar to these, you know, when I saw pictures of these online, it looked like there was gonna be possibly, you know, a layer of orange in there as well to add kind of a little more realism to it. Um, but not bad, you know, I think it's a, it's a great attachment for the firearms that they're including. So it just adds to that extra level of realism that Mega Constructs is doing with these figures. On the, uh, on the right, we have the close quarters. So the, if you guys notice from right here, the, uh, the care package is uh, set up in a different way than the World War II. So obviously it's a lot bigger. These were, you know, if I remember correctly, uh, these were provided in most of the initial sets that uh, Mega, like I guess it was Mega Blocks then, uh, provided with their sets to have, you know, to hold all the additional accessories for their figures. Um, so the, the molding for this is nothing new. We've seen this from day one of Mega Constructs. Uh, the, you know, nice thing about this though, so they have the, uh, you know, the rods coming through uh, the middle of it and then they have the, the, the triple pegs so you can attach the firearms in here and have it displayed. Uh, so one thing I think that's really neat about this set as opposed to the, the Woodland Camo paint job. So if you guys ever played Black Ops 3, uh, the paint scheme that they have on the uh, the firearms for the close quarter set is that chameleon um, the uh, the chameleon weapons paint for it, which was you know one of those one of the extra paint jobs that you had to get you know so many kills and do so many challenges to get. Uh, so it's really neat. It's got that kind of a uh, reflective green with a uh, like that are dots, and then they have like a, it's like a black backing. So you know the green dots really uh, like set out on the. The weapons and it's really nice really nice job actually I'm, I'm really impressed with the level of detail on these very small firearms and even on like the modular system right here you have that same paint scheme on the the buttstock the you know main receiver portion and then the the barrel portion of the shotgun and it's I mean, absolutely phenomenal um i i'm you know beyond blown away every single time that i see mega constructs come out with new products because it's absolutely phenomenal uh, with the figure, I have him displayed with the vector submachine gun. I attached the, the muzzle attachment as well to it to simulate that firing to see what it looks like with the figure holding it. So again, the figure itself is nothing new. It's a repackage. Um, one thing to note, at least for mine, is that, uh, you know, he was packaged wearing these, um, you know, the knee pads on my, uh, on the left side of my figure, or I guess his right leg, mine broke right out of package. So if you guys are getting these, <laughs> exercise caution when removing them from the packaging. Uh, that's kind of, you know, a little bit of a bummer, uh, but not a deal breaker for me. Uh, so one thing I think that's actually pretty neat about these um, muzzle attachments, so if you can see this right here, there's still another peg attached onto the, you know, the um, close quarters version of the um, muzzle attachment. So what's pretty cool about this, I don't have it, but I've seen it displayed like this with the Arctic Sniper Weapons Crate uh, attached to their Barrett 50 Cal, they have the uh, the muzzle attachment set up like this, attached to the Barrett 50 Cal Sniper Rifle. So, you know, it's they got that more firepower, it's a larger caliber, so obviously it's gonna have a, a larger, um, you know, flash, muzzle flash. So that's really cool. It adds to that extra layer of customization. If you guys get a bunch of these, um, you know, you can kinda, Customize how you want your figures displayed with how they're firing and just kind of have uh, different muzzle flashes One thing, you know to note though is that these uh, the muzzle like the muzzle attachments do not attach to every firearm They attach to some of the uh, the newly molded, you know firearms like a Sten um, and the uh, the 1903 It does not attach to the revolver and part of that is because it has that uh, that front end sight it will not attach to the Benelli either because it doesn't have you know enough of a, you know a barrel for it to clip onto. So um, you know I guess being on the safe side, it attaches to all the modular um, like the modular Call of Duty accessories, like firearms wise. Um, so that I mean, again, you know you, you can't be too picky with everything. It's a phenomenal job that they did. The paint schemes on the firearms, the figures themselves are you know great. 
the additional muzzle attachments, phenomenal. Um, so where I'm at in Oregon, I wasn't able to find these in store, so I don't know where they're actually being sold at. Uh, I got mine off of eBay. Uh, they are There are listings as of time of this video on Amazon as well, so if you have Amazon Prime, that's a good way to get them. Uh, they're so similar to the halo um, like armory crates, you know that are similarly packaged like this They typically go for about eight to nine dollars depending on where you're at You know the prices right now off of eBay and Amazon are you know, these are about twenty five dollars, which is pretty steep It's uh, about three times what it's MSRP for so, you know for me. I'm a, I'm a big collector I like to have everything in the wave um, you know for a few things I'll definitely pass on. I'm probably not gonna get the Arctic Sniper set or the the profit version of the weapons crates just because those aren't that important to me. But again, you know, depending on, you know, which things that you want out of these, um, the waves and you're willing to pay for it, you gotta make the decision. Personally, I would definitely recommend both of these weapons crates. I think uh, you know, what's provided in them is phenomenal. The paint schemes on the firearms are amazing. Uh, the accessories are nice to have, especially if you're just, you know, army building or what, what not. It's a, uh, you know, especially for the World War II one. I think that's probably the the neater one for the the uniform wise. Um, but you know, again, what I would suggest is if you guys are in like California area or on the East Coast, check your stores because that's where I'm seeing listings for these sets. Uh, so they are out there, uh, you know, obviously you're going to have to hunt for it like the rest of us collectors. But besides that, guys, I don't have anything else for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a like. If you guys have the sets, leave me a comment. Let me know where you guys got them. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.